Welcome to howtocookthat.net, I'm Anne Reardon. Today we're looking at how to use chocolate transfer sheets. Chocolate transfer sheets have a design or a pattern in cocoa butter on a sheet that when you then apply chocolate to it and peel it off, the pattern sticks to your chocolate. And it can look really good with a dessert. But if you use too much of it or too many different patterns on the one dessert, it starts to look a bit like a zebra in striped pyjamas. So I'm going to show you how to use it to make your desserts look classy. Take a chocolate transfer sheet, cut a thin strip, turn it so that it's the rough side or the cocoa butter side up, and then apply chocolate over the top. I've got some non-stick baking paper underneath this so that the, any of the chocolate that's left over we can peel it off and use it for something else afterwards. Spread it out in a thin, even layer, and then allow it to cool a little bit and set a little bit, then lift it up and move it to a new part of the sheet so that you have straight edges along each side. Next, using a ruler, mark off equal portions so that we can make equal squares to go the whole way around our dessert. Then run a knife through your chocolate at each of those divides and then allow it to set. For your curl on top, I'm not using a chocolate transfer sheet because, again, I don't want too much pattern, just enough to make it look good. So for the curl, spread out the chocolate onto some plastic Draw a rectangle shape and then draw a straight line across the middle so that you end up with two long triangles. Then bend it around and place it inside a glass or a cup to hold it in a curved shape and set that aside to set. Once your chocolate squares are set, they should just peel off the chocolate transfer sheet and have the pattern that was on the transfer sheet is now on your chocolate. So place them around your dessert. Grab the curls off the plastic and just split them into the two triangles and place one on top of your dessert. Now this dessert is chocolate cheesecake. I'll place the link to that recipe. Next we have a strawberry cheesecake with a strip of white chocolate over the top. I'm using a stripey chocolate transfer sheet. I'm just trimming off the end bit that I don't want and then cutting one of the stripes off. Then place it cocoa butter side up, so rough side up, on a piece of non-stick paper. Then for this one I'm going to use the white chocolate and pour that over the top. A lot of people ask what sort of chocolate should I be using. I've done a separate video explaining what chocolate is the best chocolate to use for your chocolate decorations so that will answer your questions there. Place the strip chocolate side down over your dessert and trim it to the right length and then leave that to set. Once it is set firmly, just peel off the acetate plastic and then that leaves the loop there. I've finished it off with some vanilla strawberries, which is just strawberries slow cooked with some vanilla and a bit of sugar. We'll just pop those on the side. And lastly, I'll show you how to make the chocolate sleeve to go around a dessert. So you can do that single-sided or double-sided. Find something in your kitchen that has perpendicular sides, they go straight up and down, and wrap it in some non-stick paper, or if you're wanting a double-sided design, wrap it in your chocolate transfer sheet. Then for the design that I've showed you, I've got some plain acetate with nothing on it, and I'm using some of that at the top, and then the pattern at the bottom, because again, I like it with just a hint of the pattern, not too much. I think that looks a lot more classy. Spread chocolate over your vessel that you've chosen, and then place it at one end and simply roll it up. Once it's rolled around so that you can see the top, just push the end down onto the chocolate so that your ends are completely touching. Then continue to roll it the whole way around, making sure it's lined up when you meet at the other side. And then just give it one more roll to make sure it's smooth the whole way around. And then take a knife and run it along the edge at the top and the bottom and then leave that to set. Once it's set, gently ease the container that you've used out and those edges that you've cut around should just fall off. Pull down on the middle paper and take that out again. I'm just using non-stick baking paper for that. And then lastly, peel off your acetate sheet from your chocolate transfer and the pattern stays on and you end up with a pretty chocolate cuff that you can put over the top of your dessert. If you wanted to fill it with mousse or something like that, you could make a chocolate disc or circle and join it to that on the base so that it's sealed. But in this case, I'm just gonna put it over the top 
of the dessert and top it off with a strawberry. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and put in the comments below which one you would choose to eat. <laughs>